Hi guys, fan cams first on is Luke. Uh, Luke, what a massive win that is, isn't it? Uh, I mean, we'd have took a point before, but what a three points that is. Yeah, um, great, great result. And I didn't think we played it as best. Mm. Um, I think that we played probably 60, 70% in terms of ability and we've, we've ground out a 1-0 win, which shows great character. Mm. Um, and we had chances uh, to make it 2 0 in the second half, especially. We had uh, two or three good chances, but, you know, fantastic result and credit goes to the defence. And uh, Jack Walton had a really good game today, managed managed the game well, came out to intercept things when he had to. I thought um, Solbar had a really good game with Alec and Anderson. Yeah. Um, I felt Matty James starting with a really good call. Like we said earlier in the week, I felt that we needed that experience from the off. You know, they've got a very good side and yeah. you know, they're, a, they're a top team. But I weren't, I'm not surprised with the win because we always seem to just lift it again. You know, and I said to you, Watford might come up here and might not want to be up for it. Well, to be honest, mate, it didn't look like they were up for it at all. They were, you know, they were passing ball out. I mean, I mean, perfect start, won it as well. Another screamer from Mowat. I mean, he seems a different player, him, nah. Yeah, because James has took responsibility that Mowat were having for two players. Yeah. Somebody as poor as Ritzmeyer playing with you, you're going to have to be <laughs> responsible for two players' work. But now James, he, 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 trusts, he, he trusts James, he trusts his ability. He knows what James is about. He's been there and done it so Mowat can get a bit further forward. And yeah. that's, all, that's the only thing about Mowat has been missing from his game has been his goals. And it's good to see that, you know, he's, he's chipping in with you. It's always nice. And I, like I said on Thursday, I said we need we needed to get an early goal getting at him. And I yeah. think his pressing put them under pressure. I didn't think they liked it at all. They were trying to play from the back, which I didn't think suited them at all. And um, it broke out for us. We got second ball. Yeah, but I didn't think we did that enough. I didn't. Mm. I think we we got a lot of success out of pressing them, but I think in the second half they got a kick up backside at half time and they came out. And to be fair, they were a better team in the second half overall. They were playing some decent football. Kapu and you know Sar on left hand side, but right hand side for them is twenty five million pound player apparently rated. And you know uh, I think Adore did well and, and handled him pretty well overall on left hand yeah. side when it came on. Were, were, it an, were it an injury for Britain then? It must be, wasn't it? it I don't know. I, don't I think know. some were saying he were, he were holding his hamstring or something. Some have said that, but I mean, it, it's got to be on it. I don't think he would, he would have took him off because he were playing well that first half as well. Um, but we, three, that's, that's three players that's got uh, hamstring injuries, if that's the case now. Nah. Oh, it makes me wonder what we're doing with him. Uh, but yeah, yeah, defensively, Luke, I think today as a, as a team, we were very, very good. Styles, I think, deserves a shout out, especially yeah, that second yeah. half. I would, I wouldn't say overall because he played on left hand side and right hand side in that position. He's probably my man at match today, Styles. Mm. Wonderful, uh, wonderful performance. Did did yeah. basics well, yeah. cleared it when it needed to go. And. It, and um, I think you know we, we you know we've got a we've got a win over Watford who probably will be there and thereabouts end of the season. We aren't really, in my opinion, a recognised penalty yeah. striker. Yeah. Um, I keep saying it. We need a, we need a free agent to come in because you know Schmidt's had his chance today and he were a passenger in first half. Bless him. Um, he struggled to get into the game. I don't think it were his his game, his style of play. Mm. He we're up against three big lads at the back and he's not physically strong enough. You know, that's when you need a target man in those type of games to be your outlay. And Miller, yeah. you know, Miller, <laughs> when he came on, I, I was like, oh, for fuck's sake, here we go. Um, I thought, but but to be fair to him, he got in some good positions. He was flicking, were, were, were flicking ball on, mate, from throw-ins. I know. And, um, it, but it was just that he had two concrete chances. And I'm like, if he had a bit more game time and a bit more confidence, does he take it? Does he take that? Um, does he take them chances that he had? Yeah. So over overall, you know, we had the chance in the second half to get that second goal because I felt I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, well, we we had we had chances to get a second goal, but we just didn't take it, and we needed to be more clinical and have yeah. that quality at times. I think if we'd have got overall, a second look, I think if we'd have got a second look, we would have. I think. It would have pretty much killed killed it. I don't think. Well, I mean, they haven't, they haven't come back at one nil, but I think second would have really, you know, made it a lot more comfortable for us as fans. Like, and I think maybe they might have gone a little bit at, at second goal gone in. Yeah, I mean, a, a one niler 
whilst it's 1-0, if they get a goal, I, I, you know, it's always chance for them to go on and have momentum to get a second. And, you know, yeah. I, I can't win them out last five minutes. The, uh, um, but we defended well. We, You know, game management came into play and that's something that over maybe course the last few seasons is defensively, we probably would have given yeah. it all the way. Um, but we worked hard. We, we, we grafted it through and overall, it's a great performance. You know, another clean sheet under the bag. Yeah. Another win. Um, so all together, stop, <laughs> stop it. So um, overall, a really good performance by the lads. Uh, grafting hard, and you know I, I can't fault it altogether in terms of work rate. Just obviously the quality were there, but like I said, I, I, you know we've got three points and we've probably played seven out of ten there. Mm. So um, it's nice to see we can still win and not be a, a, on us full. You know, going at it full pelt. I mean, to be honest, first half, I didn't think we were too bad. I, I really didn't. I thought we we we, pe- we pressed them well. We didn't do too bad in that first half. It just weren't sticky, Warwick, like you mentioned. No, but... and that's that's what you need when you've got you know you need that presence up front, and I don't think we had that. Um, but you know, to to beat Watford and we ain't got his main striker there. You know, that's a, a really good achievement by the lads. Um, yeah. But like I said, we stop messing about now. I know we're saying that. We need to find the right person that's fit. But there are labs that will be keeping fit. There are strikers, free agents. Oh, we've yeah. been talking to them. Of course, they'll be working on fitness rates if they know that we need a striker. So get somebody in. You know, ideally for next Saturday at latest, Cardiff might become a bit too soon. Um, but I'll take a point at Cardiff now. It's a long way to go. It's a difficult place to go. Amsterdam sets them up well at home. So, you know, yeah. I'll take a point at Cardiff. And look, seven out of nine in his first three, you know, but we can go there. He'll probably be wanting a win again. Is that type of manager that seems to just... Well, you know, I'm going to say it'll be his first away game, so we'll see how he sets up away from home. Yeah, I want, I, I want us to set up a bit differently. I want us to start with, with two up top, possibly, on uh, on Tuesday. I'd like to see Kane, James and Mowat start in that midfield um, oh. and maybe start Chaplin and Freezer. Um, have a bit more, you know, a bit more cover at midfield. Um because that style of play suits us at times, but when we're not we out the ball and we've got lads that are committing forward, sometimes you're a bit all over. Yeah, yeah, a bit, bit open, but leave it open. Yeah, but, yeah. you know, overall, mate, again, great result for us. You know, it's a, it's nice to have some consistency at home. I think this is where we're going to do well this season, is making sure that you get your points on board at home and then you, you nitpick points mm-hmm. here and there away from home. But, yeah, another great result, mate, altogether. 